In continuing coverage this morning, a square foot of space is a square foot of art in this show. And artists from all around the country submitted their unique creations to be displayed in this year's square foot exhibit. KX News' Nate House sat down with Lene Hansen at Bismarck Art and Galleries to find out what makes the show so popular. So this exhibit is our 12th annual square foot show and the idea behind it is that every artist would submit a piece of artwork on the same size canvas. It's 12 inch by 12 inch and we're um, asking everybody to submit something so that they're all uniform in size and um, no matter what we have on display it's sort of an equal playing field for all of the art. So the only requirement for the square foot show is that every work of art has to be created on a canvas purchased from the Bismarck Art and Galleries Association so that we can guarantee they're all the same size and shape. But we don't have any restrictions on the medium. So people have submitted works that are a quilt wrapped around the canvas or stained glass glued onto the canvas. We've also had uh, people who've done acrylics or oils. Um, we've got some people who've done epoxy or resin on top of the canvas and even some people have have added wood to the piece and basically made a sculpture out of it. So it's open to all mediums and uh, we look forward every year to seeing what have people submitted and how creative can they get. We have 15 different states represented at the Square Foot Show this year and we have people who've submitted from Alaska down to California, Tennessee, Iowa, Oregon, Minnesota, North Dakota, all around the state, Montana. The Square Foot Show is really one of our most well-attended shows uh, because of the number of artists participating and the variety of art that you can find. And uh, throughout the month, we'll have a large number of visitors because everybody gets excited about this show and can't wait to come in and see what people created. The exhibit opens tomorrow at 5 p.m. and goes until 7. It's free to attend and beverages and refreshments will be served. And the exhibits will remain at the gallery until August 25th. And if you're not able to make it to the reception, there will be a video of the event posted to their website. And for more on this story, you can visit our website at kxnet.com.